Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunderous Lure Company. Welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. You got me as I'm stuffing my bait pocket here full of cut bait and cut livers that I put in there. Seal that up nicely. Scissors, Antonio, I'm with the boatless angler today. You got your line in yet, Antonio? Not yet. Okay, but there's my bait pocket. That's a nice size one. That's size number five that I'm gonna run today. And I've got, uh, I've got this mixed cut up bait. And I also have livers in here. And you could use chicken livers, but look at that. I got some fish livers that I've cut up as well. So when you're cleaning fish, I mean, the insides of the fish, the fish livers and the hearts, the, save those because those make fantastic catfish bait. So I got a nice 5 aught hook here, and I'm going to poke it right through one side and come out the other. That's how I like to bait my, uh, my hooks. The 5 aught hook is a beautiful size for a channel cat. It's my, it's my favorite. It's my preferred size for channel cat. Um, and today, folks, what I'm going to do, I'm going to run uh, the, the Thunder Mist sinker slide. Maybe. There we go. <laughs> I'm getting caught on everything here. So it just basically slides along and allows the fish to pick up my bait and run with it. And that sink of that line will just slide through that slide very, very nicely. And I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my line in before Antonio. That's a rarity. Oh, there's a nice spot right there. I don't know if it's a nice spot or not, but. <laughs> so I gotta check my drag. I like the drag relatively tight i've got 20 pound thunder braid and 25 pound fluorocarbon line going to my hook i like a tight drag for the hook set and then loosen up for the fight all right you're rigging up yep all right did you go with a five or a three you went with a size five yep. i thought you might have gone with a size three a little smaller <laughs> we don't know if the bite is going to be on or tentative or what we'll find out we're gonna find out okay so you got the same rig Sinker slide, yeah. Same rig. Okay, we're both... We're, oh, is that a bite? I don't know if that was a bite or not. Or is that just the boat movement? It's hard in the boat. We've got two anchors down, but there's a bit of wind here today, so the boat shifts around from side to side, so sometimes you think you have a bite, and it's just a, what I call the boat bite. <laughs> okay, so did you see where I cast? I cast it towards the shoreline that way. Okay, so if if you I cast maybe more towards the back of the boat a bit, we'll still be in the general same area. Um, oh, okay, you're way off to the back. That's what you said. No. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. We'll see where these fish are, if they're uh, back there or if they're over here. And then what we'll do is when we get one, maybe we'll cast that same area because the more scent we can put in one area, the more catfish you're going to attract because they... They feed by scent number one and sight number two. So both lines are in. We've got a little chop on the water. It's a nice day. I've got my flotation suit on. This is a one piece flotation suit from head to toe and keeps me warm, keeps me safe. And hopefully we're gonna get into some fish. So stay tuned folks. That is not a boat bite, Antonio. That is a channel cat bite right there. And he's taking it. Yes! <laughs> that is not a boat bite. <laughs> that was a nice bite. Well, that didn't actually take that long either. Well, when you're releasing a lot of scent, if there's any fish around, they're going to hone in on it big time. This feels like a decent fish. Okay, Antonio, usually it's me giving some tips. Tell me, what, what, how about your, what are your top three catfish tips? Top three? Top three, like what? All right. Well, number one is the spot. Of course, you gotta, you gotta fish where the catfish are, but to your point, in the spring you wanna look for warmer water, right? Maybe yep, those back yep. bays. Exactly. And, and then in the summer, like uh, some deep hole access, right? Areas with deep water close by. Yeah, and some currenty areas or slack current areas with deep water is always good too. Yeah. Slack current in, in, in a river system. Yeah. Yeah. Look for those back eddies. 
Yeah, number one's a spot. Number two, I would say, is bait. Bait. Yeah, well, fresh bait is best, right? I mean, if you can get fresh bait, it's got a lot of scent. If you can't, I guess uh, frozen would be second best. Yeah. Right? If you're going for channel cat, right, it's going to be fish bait, right? Y yes. Rather or livers. Worms, what about or livers? livers. Right? Like chicken livers. You got the net there. Oh, oh, I got the net here. Okay. What's your number three? Number three is equipment. Equipment. Your rig, your rod, your line, right? It's all... That's true. And you need, you, actually, you need good equipment if you're going for these big channel cats or bigger channel cats because they are strong. <laughs> like this one. Wow, I gotta watch the anchor line. You get the anchor line? I don't know, I gotta watch that anchor line or I'll lose them. We got two anchors out, folks. One at the front of the boat, one at the back. I think he's on the line, he's on the anchor line. Can you lift that anchor line? That's not good. He's right here too. Oh no. He actually went in between that. Are you kidding me? Did I'm I lose not. him? Is he still on? He's on, but look at that. How did he manage that? <laughs> okay, how are we gonna do this? Well, it's gonna be a hand. This is unbelievable. It's gonna be a hand. Uh, okay, so can we land him? Is he close? If you let your line totally loose. Yeah. Okay, my line is loose. And. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. He's on the other end. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. This is unbelievable. You're kidding me. I'm not. Oh. Okay. Let me pull the front anchor. This is going to be interesting, folks. I'm going to pull the front anchor. So the camera guy is going to have to move. Oh, and we'll see if we can land this fish. Is he still on? He is, but keep your bail open, I would say. Okay, my bail is open. Okay, let me grab the front anchor. You got the net? Heard. Give me the what? net. He's gonna break off, he's right here. It's a good, fi oh look, he's right there, he's right there. That's a good fish. That's a good fish, yes! <laughs> I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. That's what you call a double anchor fish. Wow. This is, that's a, that's a miracle, a miracle fish right there. That is one miracle fish. <laughs> <laughs> we got to take a picture of this miracle fish, Antonio. Look at that channel cat. Lucky to get him. That's a nice channel catfish. Okay, I'm going to snap a quick photo. And then it looks like we got a mess here. There we go. This, folks, is a miracle fish. That's a, this is what you call a miracle catfish right there. Fairly heavy. He's definitely over 10 pounds. That's a nice channel cat. Smaller mouth, big head, thick body, relatively thick. Different coloration on them. We're gonna get this fish right back in the water. I can't believe that. Double anchor, Antonio, like really? You got lucky. Like really? Okay. See you later, Mr. Channel. Okay. Now, you know what I'm gonna be spending the next 10 minutes doing. <laughs> I'm gonna have to untangle from that one untangle from this one and then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna strip off that line because it's gonna be a little bit frayed it's been rubbing up against you know those anchor ropes so it's gonna weaken the line and uh, it'll be you know for the sake of a few yards of line I'll just cut it off and then I'll retie put on another bait pocket and cast back out there again boy that was fun though a little nice. challenging eh it's good though <laughs> we landed them you know what folks we're having fun when you're fishing, it's all about having fun. And if you get an opportunity, if you haven't been out lately, by all means, get out the next chance you get and have some fun as well. That's what we're doing today. We want to thank you for joining us on today's episode of Thunder Miss Fishing Tips. As always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. Time to unravel this mess. <laughs> oh, my goodness.